I'm Bree the Plant Lady. I'm Abby the Gardener. And today we hosted NC State's Horticulture Science Camp. And it was awesome. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of students. Yeah, there was. Like was 50. Yeah. Yeah. And we got so much done. And we wanted to show you all that they got to do while they were visiting here. They were here only for two hours. Yeah. But it's amazing all the different things that they got their hands on. They got a lot done. All right, let's show them. Hey, everybody. Hello. We have got the NC State Hort Science Camp visiting today. That's what y'all are, right? Yeah. Okay. And we're working on this big side property bed that I haven't gotten done. And they're here to magically get it done. And we've decided to just go full force into okra. And how many okras do we have? Let's see. Um, eight okra, and two, two, three, four, eight, and the one you're holding. Ten. Nine, uh, two four, more. Eight, ten. ten. So we have ten varieties of okra, as any rational plant person would, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put some of each into this bed and basically make it an okra explosion. So they've got the bed prepped. It has gone through and raked it all out. And now everybody is going to grab a seed packet and you're going to thumb some seeds right into the ground. It's super easy. It'll take like 20 seconds. Seed sowing is actually really anticlimactic, but the result will be really impressive. And you know what? Let's be scientists. Everybody will grab some labels from the table back there and we'll mark the variety so that we will actually be able to keep track of what you've planted. Yes, 10 labels and bring the markers too. Okay. All right, stay tuned for our progress. So in addition to getting the big bed direct seeded and mulched, they also seeded a bunch of cool season vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, celery, kohlrabi. So we had them stationed here and let's see how many trays they got done. Oh yeah, I cleaned this area up just so we would have lots of room. Cauliflower, bok choy, broccoli, more cauliflower, cabbage, kohlrabi, uh, mizuna, what's this one? Parsley, awesome, more cauliflower, and celery. Oh my gosh, this is great. We've got such a head start. Remember, if you want to be eating these heading vegetables in the fall, you've got to get their seeds started now in the middle of July. They also did a massive fertilization. And this is the coolest thing. This is actually fertilizer that turtle sells as part of their package. So the turtle is the awesome weeding robot that um, we experimented with in yesterday's camp that I will include videos of. Um, and they got all of the fertilizer distributed um, all over the garden. So I haven't really fertilized this entire season. And here is the turtle in action. It's solar powered and it's a weeding robot. It's made by the folks that from iRobot that made Zoom, Roomba, not Zumba, Roomba. So here is the solar panel and then let's flip it over so everybody can see. This is what spins. It's basically like a weed eater and it rolls on these. So it's actually it goes through the beds really easily and you put in these metal pieces around the plants to prevent it from chopping down the good things and it has sensors so it doesn't chop down anything that's really large. So this is a really efficient thing to just have in your beds to make sure that you don't have any baby weed seeds take over. Well, the distinct smell of fish fertilizer is in the air, isn't it? Yeah. And that's because we had them fertilize all the container plants, which was a pretty big job. But with 50 kids, it went pretty fast. Yeah. But I think we have like 75 containers. So um, let's see. Oh yeah, they used a good amount. I'm really excited to have gotten that task knocked off the list. And the plants are doing great. Look at how great these um, tomatoes look. 
anxiously awaiting for them to actually start producing fruit. We've got some peppers. So yesterday's camp created this awesome labyrinth idea for the backyard. And let's go up front and see what today's camp did. All right, well, they have the same idea as us. Big bed here, which will be our first bed that we will plant. And okay, they were saying an extension of the patio here, which we could probably do with some sort of hardscape. And then, wow, look at, they were really ambitious. Yeah. Is this a walkway through the middle? And then this is the path, okay, I love it. Going out to the road, because they know we have people. And then big beds out there, and a bed over on this side. But nice grassy open areas. It's definitely something to consider. You know, I was planning on kind of keeping this middle part open to accommodate a giant tent, but it's really important to capture all these ideas yeah. so that when we do finally break ground, when it gets cooler, we'll have the best possible plan. NC State Hort Science Camp, thank you for coming today and helping me get so much done. You are awesome. The world is a better place because of you. Thank you guys so much for coming. Let's go play! Woohoo! Well, Abby, we have some watering and yep. some harvesting to do. We have some ripe tomatoes and some eggplants. And um, yeah, it's been a successful week of camp. Yep, it has. She doesn't even have to go to the camp because she gets to be at the camp. And you've been doing this for years. Yep. She's like a legit expert. <laughs> Well, I hope you all will enjoy this video and be inspired by how brilliant the next generation is. I always feel really excited about the future after having an opportunity to see so many smart young teenagers, all of whom were like really interested and excited and asking cool questions and reminds me that the world is, it, there's a lot of good to come from this world. So hopefully you all will feel inspiration from this video as well. As always, thanks for watching everybody.